All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna be a really fun day. Uh, we're gonna vlog the whole day. We got a ton of stuff going on. I gotta drop off my Audi R8 for service, get new tires on it. We're picking up a 2021 Audi Q8, which is gonna be awesome. We're gonna be going to the gym, picking up my mom. We're gonna be going out to eat tonight. We're doing pool stuff. It's just gonna be all kinds of great and fun activities. Well, I'm not quite awake yet, so this should help. You can barely get in there. We're not gonna hear this for a little while. There's something about these back roads of Pennsylvania that are just absolutely incredible. Don't you love it, teens? Oh, it's so beautiful. It's just amazing. And we're like just far away from everything that we get these beautiful back roads and it feels like we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere, but in reality, we're like five, 10 minutes away from everything. And every, any direction you leave our house, you get like beautiful back roads to drive on and it's so freaking nice. All right, so we have arrived here at Audi of Mechanicsburg, dropping off the R8. Uh, I didn't realize it until the other day that my wheels are like almost completely bald. These are the stock wheels, or stock tires, I should say. Um, they have about 10,000 miles on them, so that is about right around the time that you wanna replace them. I decided not to go with the Pirelli P0s. I actually ordered the Michelin uh, Pilot Sport 4Ss, so the same ones that are on Christina's car, and I've read on the forums and, and reviews and things like that that said those tires are a lot better for this car, so I'm gonna try them out and see how I like them. Is that right? Yeah, is that right? And then uh, Jamie actually is hooking us up with a 2021, is it a Q8? Sure. A Q8, so I appreciate that. And we're gonna have that for the weekend to try out. All right, Jamie just pulled up our Audi Q8. This is the S line. And basically, like I said, it's, it's like a sport SUV. Teens, what do you think of it? A lot of room back here. A lot of room back here. Great. More like, than the Rogue, I think. Space I have. These so seats Alex are nice being too. A big dude is going to have plenty of room back here. Yeah. But this the, is... the only thing is the height right here seems a little bit low. I think there's a good amount of height. I mean, so, you got plenty of height. Let me sit in well, here I'm once. Tiny. Let me sit in there I once. Can fit into Let's see how I like how you go straight to the back seat. <laughs> That's where all the fun Such is. All the action. Yeah, look. You should have plenty of. And you can even like put these seats Your back hair matches a little bit. the roof. I can't even tell. Does it? Dude, this is this is nice. I like this has mood lighting and stuff too. And like the art. So this is See mood lighting for the back seat. Uh -huh. See it? but the boom. You even have like climate control for the <laughs> rear passenger. Let's get to the driver's side here. Alright, here we go. First time driving a 2021 Audi Q8. Again, this is the S line. We would probably rock with the RS Q8, which is 600 some horsepower twin turbo V8. This is a twin turbo V6, which is like 300. 35-ish horsepower. Initial impressions, this is really nice. What do you think, teens? Yeah, I really like it. The it's, one thing is this damn seatbelt tightening. Keeps tightening. Yeah, yeah. There's, it's there's like choking set, me. There's a setting in there, okay. <laughs> Save that for only fans. Um, there's settings in here, you can change that kind of stuff. I love that this is all touchscreen though. Yeah, it's really freaking nice. And like, it looks cool like when you go into the drive select. How do you do that? Oh, you just press this. You just press oh, it. Oh, that's cool, so look. You got off-road, dynamic, auto, comfort, and it changes like, look, puts little rocks next to it. But we're gonna that start. That off-roading looked a little intense. Dynamic, yeah, this is cool. And then there's individual, you can set all that stuff. Changes suspension, handling, all that kind of, sh it turned traction control off whenever you went on uh, off-roading. The dash is really nice. It's basically like an updated version of my Audi R8, like infotainment center, except obviously the R8 doesn't have any of this here. So um, it's pretty cool. It even has paddle shifts too, which is badass. Man, it's quiet Does it really? in here. Yeah, look. Oh, they're behind, they're hidden. Yeah. So I can. <laughs> oh, very, very nice. It goes, like it's no joke. It's just, it's weird to hear engine sound up front. When you're so used to it in the when back. When I'm so used to it in the back and yeah. just not that much sound at all. So we just pulled in the Q8 next to the Rogue because we wanted to see what the difference was between the sizes. And we also wanted to surprise Alex because this is your new car, bud. <gasps> really? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wish we could do that, but we can't. Um, what do you think, Alex? Go check it out. Hop in there. It makes this one look Cool. It does. Hey, Dude, it's uh, Alex, it's really nice. It's a really nice car. And this is like the middle of middle of the line trim for the Q8. The I RS Q8. Just joke, I love this car. I bike that other Get in place. there. Oh, okay. Sweet. See what you think of wow. it. Wow. Dude, it's it's pretty dang nice, man. You can turn it on. 
I could tell Jarrett was driving because if it wasn't, my knees would be up here. <laughs> Dude, look at the dash and stuff. See can if I you turn can turn on? Yeah, the key's in there. All right. Just hit the start stop button. Oh, it has I turn on like the whole car. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because I want to, I want to see how it sounds. It's in, I believe it's in dynamic right now. Why is the steering wheel like your I want to have, he can, it's telescope, it's telescopic, so if you want it up, you know, you can just. That's cool. Hey, give it some revs. I want to see how it sounds. Go ahead. No, you need to give it some actual. Yeah. That's, that's not going to do it for us. Yeah, that's not. That's not gonna do it for us. But isn't this infotainment stuff yeah, really I was, nice? I was really pressing it hard. You were? Like, like it's like 4,000. Yeah. I was going like really I think hard. A lot of new cars don't even let you rev it past no, 4,000, you know? 4, but if we bought the RS Q8, we would get a tune on it and put an exhaust and it would sound freaking insane, you know? Mainly, we just wanted to see how the body of it, how the features feels. Look, it has mood lighting, Alex. I like the interior you see that? a lot. See the mood lighting? Yeah. Oh, hey, hop in the back. I wanna see if, if you're, uh, if it's if it's big enough for you. I will say it looks pretty damn nice sitting in here. It's kind of cool that they do this. Yeah, hey, hop in the back, Alex. Yeah, he, Alex noticed right away frameless frameless doors, which I, is a really I nice. Said I for <laughs> he oh, does. Yeah, that looks like a lot of room. Let's see. It does have a lot of foot room. I'm worried about the headroom. Oh, you're fine. I mean, yeah, it's pretty fine. You could use it a little like, bit more. Maybe half an inch, like. Might no. lower. I wonder if they lower. They Did they? Don't. What is that? They do recline. They recline, yeah. which is gonna give you more headroom. I think they recline more, but there's a thing in the back right now. I like how it uh, curves in. It's nice, dude. It's nice. I'm not sure if this is leather or what this is. Obviously, we'd get full leather. It's really soft, though. You feel that, Alex? Yeah. And then you have your own climate control back here, which is really nice. Wow. It's a pretty nice car, I'll dude. Do the middle. You know? Dude, the middle is pretty... Um... And yeah, there it see. is. <laughs> Middle. He can't hmm? do middle seat. Yeah. But again, you guys gotta know I have a very long torso. He's torso like, man. Oh, and he's like, also he's six, like six two. Dog, yeah, six two, six three. So, no, I like it though. We'll have to let you uh, drive it here, teen. See what you think. Even the back door has the Audi logo that projects out. Let me see what the front one has. If it has the same exact thing. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. So everybody knows when you get out that you're just flexing on people. All right. So next we're gonna head to the gym. So we're all getting changed here. I'm gonna throw on some clothes, and then I wanna show you guys our guest rooms because we pretty much have them finished. There's a couple little things left to do, but they look really, really cool. So I'm gonna throw on a gym outfit, and then we'll get out of here. Here, you guys wanna see something funny? This is our closet that's like pretty sizable. Christina has pretty much the entire thing, and then I have this little corner here, and like, look, that's all the stuff that I have. I like literally don't buy clothing, ever. I used to have a clothing sponsor, so, um, you know, I didn't really have to buy that much stuff. Oh, I was coming here to get this. Um, but I mainly just wear athletic clothes. I have literally like two pairs of jeans to my name. That was easy. Here's my gym outfit. This is a company called Rise. I use a lot of their stuff. This is uh, who I used to be sponsored by, so I have a ton of Rise stuff. Rise um, cutoff t-shirt, and then Rise uh, sweatpants that are really nice, and then just some Nike Freeze. I pretty much wear these all the time. I call them my ninja slippers. And then I'm gonna make a protein shake. Well, it's like an all-in-one shut supplement that I drink every day, and I'll show you guys what that is. All right, so this is the supplement that I take. Pretty much the only one I take now, besides protein drinks. But it's like an all-in-one supplement, so it has protein, carbohydrates, uh, amino stack, creatine, glutamine, joint supplement. It's pretty expensive. I get it from Amazon, but it's worth it. I just, I just do this once a day while, while I'm doing my workout, and then it helps me. I'd say I'm about half as sore as I would be if I wasn't taking it, and it just helps um, with recovery and everything else. So I'm gonna mix this puppy up, and then I'll go show you guys the rooms. Tina Wieners is in here drinking her C4, not sponsored. How is this? It's really good. What is it? Frozen bomb sickle? Bomb sickle bone. I'm really sensitive to caffeine, so I gotta be careful about drinking. Just that one sip right there, I probably won't sleep until Tuesday. It's Friday right now as I'm filming this video. Do you wanna show them the rooms upstairs? Yeah, let me finish this one message. What are you doing, working on OnlyFans? OnlyFans? OnlyFans.com slash Christina Khalil. Yes. Get a little bit of that behind the scenes action, if you know what I mean. Behind the scenes. Okay. All right, so while I'm waiting for Christina, which is pretty much what I do 95% of my life, is wait for that woman in there. God, it drives me crazy. Um, specking out cars. So this is the AMG GLE 63S Coupe. Look how badass that thing is. Interior is insane. Looks badass too. I specced it out fully, 
and it was $135,000. This is if we got it brand new. You know what's funny? I spec'd out a 2021 RS Q8, and if this one is spec'd out, pretty much fully spec'd out, look, $135,000. Like almost exactly the same price. That's crazy that they're that um, close in price, like to each other. That's that's. I just think that's crazy, especially since I did like a bunch of different options and things. But um, this one, the Mercedes, I think is 603 horsepower, and then the Audi RS Q8 is 591. So. All right, the the Lioness has finally come out of her den. <laughs> she's finally come out of her freaking den, and she's gonna show you guys. You woke me up and you're like, we need to go get a car. Just so you know, guys, like, I woke her up at 10.30, just so you know. Yeah, but I haven't been feeling good, so like, I need to sleep. Because she only gets to sleep until 11 every day, so she has a really tough no, life. I, I, you should I've all feel very bad, bad for her. Days, like, oh, Alex ha has his room nice and presentable for us. Look at him. Here's your laundry, just dump it on the bed. Anyway, this is one of the guest bedrooms. Looks pretty nice. Well, we got a mirror for it. We updated is I added a selfie mirror, so Alex yeah. can send... And actually mm. three hours a day staring at himself. He does like to do that, that yes. So. Oh, and the, and the... Oh, and I got a different comfort. Duvet set. cover? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. That's, that's looking pretty nice. See, I'm out of breath. I don't feel good. Yeah, you need okay. to get it together, woman. Um, and then we come in here. Guest bedroom number two. Comforter set in here. It's comforter set. Right up the room. And the sheets. So dark. Yeah, it was a little bit dark. So, that's good. I still think we could use like a cool selfie mirror or something in that corner. Uh, maybe. They have a mirror on there. Yeah, that's only half a mirror. How am I supposed to see the lower half of my body? Well, not here? everyone's a midget Where's like you. Butt, you know? Not everyone's a midget like you, okay? And then we come into this room, and this is the newest room that we finished. The newest guest room? Uh, actually, it's not even finished. I'm lying. <laughs> no? What else does it need? <laughs> it needs a TV. Oh, yeah, a TV. And then probably a selfie mirror. Yeah. Put somewhere. I really like oh, this set. Set. Look how beachy that looks. Yeah. Since we're not by the beach, we're anymore, by the beach anymore, we had to bring the beach to us. So, nice comforter. Uh, I picked out these lamps and lamp shades. Okay, I, okay. I pretty much, okay. I pretty much pick out everything. Oh my god! I say I really like that one, and then she goes, okay, and then she buys it. <laughs> Don't lie. That's Look at her. True. Don't you That's dare. But let us know. This room is the only room in here that doesn't have a uh, rug. Rug carpet rug. I like it without the rug. So. It's a lot more pain in the ass to clean because it's true. you can see everything on the wood. But this is the only room that doesn't have it. So since you've seen the other rooms, should we Rogue do or no it? rug? I mean, it's a guest room. No one's really going to ever be up here, but yeah. it kind of looks nice. It looks clean. It I looks like, like it. I don't even want to be in here. Yeah, like, like no just for photos, out. right? Yeah. Just for photos and videos. I mean, basically, yeah. For that OnlyFans that content. OnlyFans content. All right. Christina's driving the Q8 for the first time. See what she thinks. She'll probably be the one that drives this most of the time. So this is the real test. Nice backup cameras on this. Has an overhead camera too, which is really nice. And that's super clear. That's crazy. I wonder if you can like click on this and make up different sizes and things. Oh, 3D camera. Check that out. Look at that. <laughs> you can watch yourself backing up, Alex. Look. Oh, that's weird. That's actually pretty. How the hell does it do that? That's pretty badass. And drive forward. Look at this. Floating. You can watch yourself drive. Yeah, floating around. Floating cars. And look, teens. <laughs> look at that. Wow. That's so <laughs> You can watch yourself drive down your badass driveway. And he even has the freaking... That's insane. That There's a lawnmower guy. Actually pretty impressive. All right, so teens, what do you think so far of this bad boy? I like it, but I want to see like what the, how the pull is. Alex, are we going super fast out there? It's, fast. it's smoothly fast, right? Like sneakily fast it handles very well it's very very smooth yeah like, it's I a good car the <laughs> I'm, like this, I'm actually getting a little bit nauseous i'm yeah. not gonna well, lie I'm, i mean i'm i'm playing you're testing it yeah, and feeling it, it yeah yeah but it imagine out. this is only 300 some horsepower the rsq8 is almost 600. how much is your car 610. Mm, yeah so I can kinda keep up. they're gonna have almost as much horsepower as my car I mean, any I mean, one of these. It's, it's, yeah, it's really nice. Let it's us know which one car. you guys would like to see on the channel. The RS Q8 or the Mercedes AMG GLE 63S. Oh which is God, a ridiculous a name for a car. But leave it to Mercedes. Alright, we just picked up Mama Dukes. What do you think, Mom? Mama so, Dukes. so far, what do you think of this? It's really roomy and it rides nice. That's what you, it's really roomy and it rides nice. That's what that's she came what up. She that's what she came up with. What else am I supposed to say? Yeah, I don't. It's good. It two it's fine. Ago. I'm just messing with you. I like Alex, the Alex goes. It feels like we're going to a business meeting. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. He goes. From now on, we just have to talk about business. Where's your suitcase, Alex? <laughs> oh my God. Are we late for the meeting? Are we? Are we late for the business meeting? We're late for the business. Holy shit! It does feel pretty luxurious. 
but Teen's just driving like a maniac, so I I'm gonna have, get sick. I really have to Mom, are you gonna get sick back there? Um, I'm hanging on. She likes to get sick in the back seat and then pee her pants. Not long. What? I do not pee my there pants. You have peed your pants before. That's when I drank <laughs> two big glasses of water. I like how she doesn't dispute it. At an Indian restaurant. Okay, okay, but who hasn't peed their pants? That's the question. Don't tell uh, Jared. Uh, no, no, I haven't. Full, mine was a full plate. Is there something Wait, you have really? to tell? Is there something? You, oh, dude, she's she leaned against the wall outside the restaurant and pissed herself like completely. Well, I should have used the Running down her legs, everything. I should have. No, we were no, laughing. No, no. It was. It this was, was as an adult. This was like a okay, few years ago. I, you made me laugh. Yeah. But I want to say that. something. Then he had the guy. audacity to ask me how I was going to drive home. I didn't want her home. sitting in my seat with her I pissy didn't pants. Didn't want me in the car. <laughs> I so we, stra we strapped her to the roof. Yeah, she held on. amazing. So I will say the new key definitely looks better than my R8 key, but at this point, I don't think we should be using keys for anything. It should be like a, a, an app on my smartphone that I get close to the car and it unlocks and all that kind of stuff. That's neither here nor there. Let's see how the, uh, the locking feature is. Pretty quiet, looks cool though. I think at, when you have it on, the light bar goes all the way across, which is also nice. Anywho, we arrived at LA Fitness. We're gonna go inside, play some basketball, and get a juicy, juicy pump. All right, so we're warming up with some basketball. We usually play for like, I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. We do like 21, we play a tip game, we do around the world, all kinds of different stuff. I just finished the game, which means they have one chance to go all the way around, and Christina's making a run right now. She thinks she's a badass, but watch, she'll blow one of these. <laughs> Oh, she gets one more. Why? Because I'm filming you? That's all part of the game. Ah, oh, she'll have a half court rebuttal. Can Tina Wieners do it? If she loses this, I get anal tonight. <laughs> oh, no. She's back in. She's back in. I was talking about, like, I was going to make you clean the whole house. Like, really anal about the cleaning. All right, Jared, what you got? Let's see that half court. Oh, oh and oh, he's man. out. I make that so many times. So All right, Alex, dark. bring us back, baby. Jared, it's all on you. Bring us back, baby. Bring us back. <gasps> airballed it? You airballed it? Come on! Wow. Hey, we hey hey. We just let Alex win, right? We, did, yeah. we just let you win, Alex. Oh god, Alex is gonna hurt himself. <laughs> hey, it still went in. All right, so next I'm taking my mom through a full body workout. She's been training with me all week. She wants to get back in shape, so I told her I would help her out. If you guys are interested in getting in shape, jcampfit.com is my website. Bunch of free stuff on there, all kinds of information for you. If you want personalized, customized plans, I have those available as well. Or even on my YouTube channel, I have a lifting playlist on there. You can check it all out on there as well. What's the teen or wieners training today? No idea. Give me a flex. Full body. Give me a give me a flex. Yeah. No, I want to see those lats. Like, give me a double double bicep. Look at that, guys. Look at that. She's jacked. And just carrying around a couple of balloons, huh? Big balloons. Okay. Check, please. All right. So we all just finished our workouts. Um, see the juicy pump I got going. Look at that. Wow, Alex. Let me see your arms. Come on, come over here. You said they were as big as mine. Come on. I can. Stand next mine to me. Mine are bigger. Mine are the biggest. That's my guys. left arm too. This is cool. Teens looks pretty good. It's because he's so pale. Oh, is it. that is that what it is? Teens, whose arms are Wait, bigger? Hold on. Look. Nope, I'm still a tiny arm. It's getting closer though. Getting closer. I will I will agree. It's 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 getting closer. It's getting there. There's, there's Mama there's Dukes. Natalie. Look at Mama Dukes. That's where I get it from. Look at her. Look you don't at have her. any. She's, she doesn't have any peaks. Yeah. I don't either. Who was giving peaks? Well, yeah, you guys. Giving butts. <laughs> Just hey, bubble that's butts. Not a bad thing. So, if you guys are wondering, I train about six days a week, five days usually lifting, and then a couple of days of cardio. 
and then Teen says similar things like that and then I've been teaching my mom how to lift as well. If you guys want to see more of my training or if you need help with your training, jcanfit.com. There's a bunch of free information on there and you can go to my lifting playlist uh, just in my YouTube channel. Let's see how many calories I burned today. So we worked out for about an hour and 40 minutes, 500. 74 active calories, 742 total calories. So this looks like this looks like 800 calories. Probably. It looks like 800 calories from it's your from your back. armpits. Is that what you're showing me? And his back. Turn around. Look at him. Look at He's working hard, dude. He got a Batman sign on his back. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go jump in the pool. We came home to a, an elusive Desmo in the wild. Look at him with his skunk tail. He doesn't like me following him. What's up, bud? What are you doing? Do you need to go outside and do stuff? I can't even see you on the camera because you're so dark. Look at that skunk tail. You are so dark. Look at oh, the skunky God. tail. Oh, look at that big boy. The baby. Look at that mob boss. He looks like Toothless. Look at that mob boss. From How to Train Your Dragon. He does, doesn't he? Look at him. The baby boy. He's like, I can I be a part of this? No, you're, you're bulimic, bud. You need to stop throwing up after every meal. <laughs> look at him. He's so skinny. You made fun of him one time and now he's... We actually did make fun of him for getting a fat neck. Like a couple was, months ago. He was gaining weight and they made fun of him in California and now he just throws up. Now he throws up like a couple times a week. Look at him. He thinks he's a badass. He's like, can you open the door? Boy. Boy. Look at him. The skunk tail. He cleans our whole house for us just walking around. It's great. Little we pay him. He's on our payroll. Little Look duster. Little Look duster. At Look at that baby. So while we were driving home in the Q8, um, Audi of Mechanicsburg hit me up. And they said, oh, your car's being worked on, and they send you a video. Hello, this Look is Corey from Mountain Mechanicsburg. Got your car in today for the like, four what? tires and the alignment. I've Just never seen... Just four tires on your car. Everything went smoothly there. Oh, those tires so look good. So get ready to take it over to the alignment rack now, do that alignment. Nice. And I did a quick look over on your car while I had it in. Everything's looking pretty good. I mean, obviously... The I've never seen anything like in. this. Um, brakes are running about nine millimeters on the front and 10 millimeters on the rear. That's good. Life left on them. Um, nothing else to worry about. No damage underneath, no leaks. Nice. So just like I said, just got to get that alignment done for you and hopefully have you wrapped up yet this afternoon. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. That is super cool. I've never seen anything like that. Teens, have you ever seen anything like anything like that when it comes to taking your car in? Send you a video. That's freaking badass. Thank you, Corey. I appreciate that. I'm glad you looked over the car too because I do drive like a little bit like a maniac. So it's good that everything is uh, looking good. And uh, yeah, Audi Mechanicsburg, very impressed with your service. Appreciate you guys taking care of me. All right, so the lady and I popped on our swimming suits because it's beautiful outside. Do you know what the pool temperature is, teens? Have you checked? I think it said like 79. Oh, that's pretty good. It's 81 outside. Okay, so it should feel pretty good. Are you gonna put the waterfall on or no? I love the waterfall, she doesn't. I sometimes do, I just depend like what mood I'm in. Is this non-copyright music? Yeah. Okay, cool. How's that uh, Boutine LA bikini treating you? I need new ones. Well, it's just the bottom. The top is, oh. I think, something different. Example. This is amazing. Are you gonna jump in? Nope. Okay, we'll film Way me jumping in. This wind is gonna be cold. Yeah, that, that makes it a little bit colder. By the way, teens, don't you think I need like that. A little shorter. Oh yeah, show off those white legs. I need to get them that white. I Look, know. Hey, you could tan naked. No one's around. I normally do tan naked, but... Oh, it's really windy. <laughs> what do you call that? A diffy? A diffy. It's not a dive. It's what is... Not a, not a what? What's, what, what's a diffy? I don't know what to call that. Alright, what would what, <laughs> you bring us? I guess just for you and just Jared. Just for me and Jared. <laughs> Christiane can't have this. There's too much calories. What is Peanut it? Peanut butter protein smoothies. Peanut, Peanut butter, butter protein. protein smoothie. Thank you, sir. Brought to you by oh, Chef cheers. Alex. Cheers. We're trying to get jacked. You know what I'm saying? Do you put alcohol in this? <laughs> it's a mudslide. It's actually a mudslide. <laughs> Look at them cooped up inside. They sit here and they wait for us to open the door so they can run out. Huh, bud? They're like, let us out. Nope, sorry, we got weed sprayed today, so you cannot come yeah, outside. You can't come out today. Oh, oh, they're not happy. <laughs> now Teens wants to get on the action. She turned the waterfall on for me, so I appreciate that. Nice, that's a nice bubble butt you have there. Perfect, then you'd be like Kim K, maybe you'd yeah, get famous. Nice that's what everybody likes to see. You need to be inflated. The, I like them, I like them not really inflated. Let's see how she can do. 
Wow, that went in. Let me see if I can make one. Nope, just you? Okay, this is the Christina show. I gotta see if I can make another one. All right, fine. Ah. All right, let's see it. Yep, one hand. Yep. Oh my goodness, Jared. <laughs> it's giving you another chance. Come on, come on, show YouTube, show YouTube. Oh, okay. But you know, on the second try, I got on the first, so technically. I win, right? Okay. Comment below who won. Look at this. Look what I just pulled out of the pool. Skimmer. You know what this is, guys? This is what Christina puts food in and leaves outside for stray cats to come and eat. Nope. That's gonna ruin our pool. This nope. gets sucked into the filter. Nope. Is it worth it, teens? No proof. Is it worth it? There's no proof. What do you have to say for we yourself? Have no proof. Yeah. So we're cleaning out the pool skimmers. Ew. And yeah, there's some. Imagine and There's some that gnarly swim next stuff in there. Where'd that big spider go? Oh, there's one right oh, there. Oh, it's right there on the side. There's one right there. Look at that thing. Look at the size of that. And those weird ass centipede, like silverfish things. My God. Luckily, they're all dead. But teens, what would you do if that just swam up to you? I would drown myself. <laughs> I would just drown myself. <laughs> all right. So obviously, we're done in the pool. We decided to get ready and go out for dinner. Mm -hmm. um, I think half the family is gonna, well, most of the family is gonna go in here in the Q8 provided I'm going by. In here except you and Brian is going in the Hellcat. That was a lot faster. Yes. You're gonna, you're gonna undermine me in yes. front of my YouTube yes, channel. Yes, I am. Okay. Well, enjoy the mom mobile. Uh, I have found a different ride. I'm gonna go with Brian in his Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye. Look at that bad boy. I somehow always find the sports cars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited, I've never been in one of these. So uh, we're gonna all experience this together. So 700, is this 707? 797. Seven, wait, 797? Mm -hmm. Holy shit, start that up for me. 797 horsepower. I actually really like these wheels. Look at those puppies. Oh my God, 305s all the way around. Give me a rev, Bri. Okay, this is gonna be fun. All right, so this is my first time ever being in here. That is a really cool dash layout. What mode are we in right now? Uh, sport. Sport mode, so is that full power? Nope, track. Wait, so what, how much power do we have in sport? Well, it just it uh, affects your traction control. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, That's I got you. So it'll it once it starts to slip, it it'll spin a little more. Kills in sport power. Than okay. Track. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Track kind of bites. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh God. Lose control real fast. Oh my God. Dude. See, that's what's fun about rear wheel drive. Yeah. Holy shit. Does it actually grip ever, or yeah. like okay? When, when, especially when the pavement's hot, like when 90 degree days. Uh huh. And once and, the tires warm and up. And then you, the warm up tires, you yeah. put it in track, it'll bite real well. Holy shit. Now that was with traction control on. A little bit. It allows was you on, to yeah. do that. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit, I can't do that in my R8 and with traction control off. It's cool, it's 75 degrees. If oh, it, it tells you, oh, okay, yeah. the outside temperature. An extra 10 degrees makes a huge difference. Dude, there's a lot of cool stuff on this, like, <laughs> holy crap, it's like a mini computer right here showing you all kinds of different things. Yeah. Damn, okay. Yeah, you can, you can check out, I mean, there's all kinds of shit there. I don't like statistics and stats yeah. and things, yeah. yeah. No, that's all good, I don't want to get into all that. I just want to feel a little pool. Do a little pool for us, just like, whoa! Oh my God! Yeah, I feel it. This thing is dangerous. You know what it reminds me of? The Z06 Corvette we had. Yeah. That was only 650 horsepower, so you can imagine what this one feels like. All right, let's see this. Let's see this Q8 on the road. Pull up a little bit more in front of her. Let's see this thing. That looks nice. That car. Oh, I heard the turbo kick in there. Okay. <laughs> Give him a little gas, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love muscle cars, baby. <laughs> well, I gotta say, that's a fun car right there. Like, they pretty much just built that straight up for fun. Mom, does he do that stuff with you? Well, I don't want to Throw it sideways and shit? Hell no. <laughs> no, you don't? <laughs> <laughs> Alex, you need to ride in that thing. Fast? 
Yeah, it's 800 horsepower, bro. Oh, that's a little fast. Dude, he had it throwing sideways. He had to correct it two or three times. We saw dust. We saw a dust cloud. Was that you guys? <laughs> yes. Brian, you it. The first one at the stop sign. Did you see us when we just pulled away from you guys? Did it sound good? Yes. That thing's gnarly. Hey, this looks nice rolling down the street, though. I hear the wine, too. That hey. Yeah, dude, you can hear that. Yeah, the supercharger, that's badass. We were just talking about how good the weather is right now. It's like 75 degrees, no humidity. We don't get this very often in Pennsylvania. It feels like Santa Barbara. We're heading to Gilligan's. Casual fine dining apparently is what they go by. It's actually a really cool place. I don't know how we got on this topic, but my mom was talking about how she got me this toy and I, I didn't like to sleep with it, like looking at me. Did I make you turn it around? What did I do? Maybe put it in the closet. Put it in the closet? The, the monster's in the closet. The that the that closet, makes it a lot yeah. better. That's probably why I hate closets now, too. <laughs> Look at this. Who buys their kid this? Look at this closet. Do you guys remember this? It's called like My Monster or something like that. And he had like handcuffs that he came I've with and he like ripped before. out of them. Well, I'm, like I'm a lot older than you. Older, yeah. Hey, thanks. You want to just roast me on my YouTube channel? Well, you tell me I'm old and fat. And spit on me, too. Save that for later. Okay, that's messed up. I heard that. All right, drinks have arrived. Jerry Bear got a Moscow Mule because that's how I roll. What'd you get, Bry? Uh, it's just vodka and sweet tea. Vodka and sweet tea. Like, like okay, that's like a very southern like drink. What are you having, Mama Dukes? Margarita. <laughs> Margarita, on <the> <laughs> Margarita on the rocks. What'd you get, Teener Wieners? And Alex and I got Arnold Palmies. Arnie Palmies. Did you put any alcohol in that? So much vodka. Good. That's gonna be fun later. You asked. All right, food has arrived. Um, I got a crab cake. Look at that. That is a juicy little crab cake. It looks like a baseball um, with rice pilaf and broccoli. Trying to be a little bit healthy. Teen's got the uh, sh shrimp and scallop scampi. What are you rocking over here? Burgers, Swiss. What is on that? Oh, Swiss? Mushrooms and bacon. Oh my god. Great choice. Alex, chicken bacana. With the bodybuilder meal. Look at them. Okay. I see you. I see you. And what do you got? Oh, you have the same thing that Christina got. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you didn't get it, bud. Sorry. All right, so we ran into Doug. Actually, she went to high school with my father. Yes, and uh, this is her husband, Doug, and I was like, dude, why are you so jacked? Take a look at this. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> that's, that's all genetic, by the way. Like, that peak and how it cuts and all that. Anyway, hey, congratulations. <laughs> Go ahead, what do we got here? All right, so we have chocolate peanut butter pie, baklava cheesecake, caramel cheesecake, tiramisu, double chocolate cake, <laughs> chocolate mousse cup, German chocolate cake, and then like a triple layer chocolate vanilla strawberry cake. Wow. <laughs> Now it's on you, teens. What are you having? We need to discuss this. We have to discuss it? We're going to have a council? Yes, okay. Yes. Alright, yes. so after our round table discussion, we decided on the Napoleon cake. They said they don't... <laughs> oh my, Napoleon, like the guy. We're going to conquer France with this cake now. Um, anyway, that's the colors you see down there. So, do you want to do the honors, babe? No. Okay. All right, so everyone's downstairs in the movie theater. Uh, I'm mixing myself a little drinky poo here. I think I'm gonna do the Glenlivet 12, which is honestly not the, it's one of the cheaper ones of the Glenlivet line, and it's so freaking good. I like mine just on ice, super chilled. That's gonna be, uh, maybe that's good right there. And there's a super moon outside right now, and it's incredible. But yeah, let's go find a movie to watch. We're gonna watch The Curse of, Teens, you wanna say it? The Curse of La Llorena. Oh, mm. rolling the R's there, huh? <laughs> now you know why I'm a happy man. Um, this is a part of the Conjuring series, is that correct? Something like Am that. Am I correct in my yeah. assumption? Okay, yeah. this is what Alex wants to watch, so I think we're gonna watch this. So if it's very bad, we all just blame We're gonna blame Alex, although a lot of the other Conjurings are pretty, pretty solid, so. I think it's gonna be good. If you guys have seen it, let me know how it is in the comment section below. I'm gonna drink my whiskey, and then tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up my R8 and drive it with the new tires, and I'm very excited because I'm gonna scare the shit out of Christina Carrillo. Can you even see in here? I can. Oh. The beauty so of the G7. Right? The beauty of the G7. Yeah. All right, so um, today is the day we're taking the Q8 back to Audi of Mechanicsburg. And I wanted to kind of share my final thoughts and feelings about it. First off, on looks of this car, I think it is one of the best looking SUVs out there. I would say it's right up there with the Urus and the um, Aston Martin SUV. Um, as far as like ride quality and all that kind of stuff and features, tons and tons of features. Um, it drives very, very nice. 
Um, I love the infotainment setup and everything like that. I think it looks uh, really, really nice. It's really like super easy to use and just like, I'm used to it because of my Audi R8, so it kind of all makes sense to me. Um, I do wish they could put some sort of matte finish on that to not have show so many fingerprints. Um, but I mean, that's. I mean, I'm sure you can get a screen protector. Or something. Yeah, something to do that. Yeah, um, but yeah, overall, I really, really like it. Are you gonna drive, teens? No, you're gonna drive. Okay, then I'm gonna hop in here. And then the other thing that I like is you can put like four adults in here and go on a trip and still have plenty of space in the back for all your stuff and things like that. Um, so, and I think it's a good size. It's big enough that you can fit everything you need to fit in here, but it's not too big that it's annoying to drive like every day when you say teens for you too. Yeah, there's and, a lot of room in here. Yeah, there's a lot of room and it's, it's just a nice car. Now, there are some things that we don't like about it. Small things, you know, gripey type things, but I do want to share that. Christina doesn't like the size of the cup holders, which I kind of agree with. I feel like they could be a little bit bigger. There's really not a lot of storage in here. Like no storage. Like, yeah, I, I thought that that would like come up and there'd be more storage underneath it. And this is something that's really weird. The windshield feels like there's not that much viewing space. So I don't know if it stops low. I think that this is maybe just high. The whole dash area is like pretty high up because it just feels like this is small, like almost something that you would feel like in a Lamborghini or something where you don't have a ton of viewing angle. And I think I have heard people saying there's like a lot of blind spots and stuff in the car. And so um, I haven't really had issues with blind spots, plus there's blind spot monitoring, but um, that view out the front is a little bit weird when you say teams. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Is, there anything, is there anything else that you don't like about the car? Um, I mean, a lot of little nitty, nitty gritty things. Yeah, like you didn't like the shifter, right? Yeah, I didn't like the situation here of how you like get in reverse and neutral and drive. I actually do. I'm used to that. And I like that this has a second screen here that you can put. Well, I love the screen. The dual screen yeah, situation is really awesome. Nice. But I just, yeah, there's a lot. I don't know. $75,000 for this. That's the thing. And the RSQ8 is, is pretty much this, except it's hundred thirty grand because obviously it has more horsepower, more performance, and all that kind of stuff. But the inside of the car and the features and stuff are pretty much the same. All right, so saying goodbye to the Audi Q8. Uh, very nice car. Um, if, you're in the, if you're in the market for an SUV, this is definitely one of the coolest looking SUVs. I'd say nicest driving SUVs in the market. So definitely check them out. Special thank you to Jamie for taking care of us. I appreciate it. We'll see you guys soon. Yeah. And there's my, B, my baby, my R8 with the fresh tires. And again, they looked over the whole car, said everything looked flawless, which is fantastic. And I'm not due for another service until next year. And the beauty is all my services are covered until 80,000 miles. So that's freaking awesome. What do you think, teens? They look good. They look badass, huh? We'll see how it dries. I actually really like one of the reasons, well, okay, this is a stupid reason, but okay. aesthetically, I think that these look better than the P0s. The P0s actually looked stretched a little bit on the rim, whereas these have a little bit more sidewall and they look a little bit nicer on the wheel. And don't worry, that's just wax that'll come off uh, once I drive it. But yeah, I'm really excited to see how this thing feels with the new wheels or the new tires because my other tires were freaking bald as hell. And then again, Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's are the ones that I went with. I read really good reviews about these and Christina has them on hers as well, which we really enjoy. Damn, they even vacuumed my car out and everything. Let's get a cold start of this bad boy. Gotta love it. All right, let's see how she feels. All right, so car feels perfect. I'm really happy about that. The tires definitely make a difference. It doesn't feel so jarring. Like obviously it's still stiff, the suspension and everything, but um, they feel, ah. they feel freaking amazing, dude. Like the P0s, because they were stretched a little bit on the rim, I always felt like I was rolling over the tire around turns and stuff. These don't feel like that. And obviously these are still breaking in and stuff too. So I'll have to give you guys an update after, you know, a few, a few hundred miles or whatever. But initial impressions, these Michelin Pilot Sport 4s, Cup 4s, really nice. I like them a lot. What do you think, teens? Oh, it's a lot better. Right? It doesn't feel so It's brutal. not, yes. Well, yeah. having tread on them probably makes it. I can kind of tolerate Tol sitting in here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you can definitely feel a huge difference. Yeah. I like them. Oh, that dog was chasing um, after your car. I know he was. We came home to a little baby deer. Just oh, Bambi, come look back. Look at him. I don't know if you can see him. Oh, no. He was sleeping right in the, uh, the underneath bed. the tree, the bed of the tree. That's amazing. I love that stuff. 
All right, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. I know you guys have been saying that you really enjoy these, so I'm just making, you know, vlogs nice and long of our whole day and then, uh, you know, let you guys see what we're doing. I still do wanna film the, um, you know, how we, how we got to where we are today video, so stay tuned for that. And if there's other things you guys wanna see specifically about us or what we do or our lives or whatever, drop them in the comment section below. Also, give us a feedback if, you, if you'd like to see an RSQ8 or a Mercedes, uh, GLE 63 AMG on the channel or some other SUV. We gotta get something once our Rogue lease is up in a couple months here. And then uh, love how the car feels, love these tires on it already. And I'll give you guys an update once I put a couple hundred miles on it as well. So I think that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give that video a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and we'll see you guys in the next one.